So your laptop, Lenovo in this case, works okay. You can log into your operating system and use the laptop. However, whenever you try to enter BIOS, it displays a blank screen. The backlight is working, but there is no image on the screen. Once again, this is a laptop. If you are experiencing a similar issue, but on a desktop PC, the solution may be a bit different. I will make a separate video on solving the same issue on a PC, but this particular tutorial is about laptops. The reason for this error on a laptop is an incorrect setting in the BIOS. And to fix it, you need to reset the BIOS. The problem is it's not exactly easy to reset the BIOS on a laptop. In this particular case, you may try connecting a external monitor to your laptop to see if it works. So try connecting a display or a TV or whatever screen you have that can accept HDMI or DisplayPort input and see if it works and the BIOS is displayed. If it's not, you may try to reset BIOS by blindly selecting the load defaults function. Even though you cannot see the BIOS, you are still in it and all the buttons work. So if you know the exact steps you need to take to reach this menu blindly, you may still reset the BIOS that way. The easiest way to do this is probably to ask someone who has the same model of laptop to give you the instructions which buttons to press to reach this setting in the menu. So you will be pressing left, up and enter or something like that to reset the BIOS. Since this is a very old laptop, it wasn't really an option in this case. So the only way left is to actually restore the BIOS in hardware. To do this, you must disconnect the cell coin battery. Most laptops have their main rechargeable battery, which is used to power up the machine. However, there is a normal non-rechargeable battery, usually a lithium coin cell, which provides power to the clock when the machine is not powered on and also keeps the BIOS settings. So the only thing we need to do to reset all the BIOS settings, not the BIOS itself, since it is flashed into flash memory, but its settings, which are stored in a power dependent memory, which is powered by this very button cell, we have to disconnect it. If it was a normal laptop from any decent manufacturer, usually to disconnect the battery, you can either remove it or there is some kind of a little connector that you have to remove and then plug back to reset the settings. But since this is a Lenovo, they don't make anything easy for their users. In this particular case, the battery is soldered to the motherboard. And to disconnect it, you have to desolder at least one of the legs of the battery. After you do that, make sure there is no connection between the battery and the motherboard. And of course, make sure that your charger is disconnected and the rechargeable battery is also disconnected. So after desoldering the leg or unplugging this coin cell battery, just to be on the safe side, wait about five to 10 minutes to make sure that the memory is completely gone. And by memory, I mean the BIOS settings. Everything else, like the BIOS itself and all the files on your storage will be intact. And then connect it back, or in this particular case, solder it back, reassemble everything back, turn on your laptop, and this time around, the BIOS is displayed. So you can enter it and configure anything you need. And also, in many cases, you will not be able to reinstall operating system from a USB flash drive. So this method also rectifies that particular issue. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.